first of all thanks for clicking and i'm sure you're having a fantastic day in this video i will show you how to make this modern but simple looking hamburger menu animation if you are new to this ui ux world then let me tell you this type of menu is called hamburger menu because it might look like a hamburger uh, but it's very fun to design and of course it will increase the user friendliness of the interface Hi, this is A.B. Abid. Welcome to my channel Design Thinking. Let's get into it. This is the base design. Very simple with the hamburger icon on the right. I am making a duplicate of it. Now let's draw a rectangle. Color this. Double click on the background image. The crop is selected here. Drag to the left. Move this logo too. Notice the layer tab on the left of the screen as I am rearranging the elements. Let's put some text and menu items. Twenty four spacing with twenty four font size. Now let's change this hamburger icon into an X icon. Move this now, rotate to forty five degree. and do the same for this one too. Position this to the center properly. And done. Now place a plus button besides the about menu because I will make a sub menu of this list. Make another duplicate. Move this to the left. Now place under rectangle for the sub menu items. Give it a dark color. From the layer tab, drag it below the logo and the hamburger menu icon. And let's add few more text. I think that's okay. The initial design is complete. Let's turn off the 12 column grid for now. If you want to know more about the grid system, let me know in the comment section. Now I'm going to use the smart animate here. So before starting the prototyping, I have to add few more elements to the previous frame so that it can animate properly. Just copy this. Select full frame and paste it. From the layer tab, I have to drag all the selected elements below the logo and the hamburger icon. Now push to the right. Now notice the layer tab, it's not out of the frame. Now select the frame and click the content. It's not gone, it's there but not visible. And the reason it's not visible is that it's inside the frame but out of the frame's visible area. Let's do the same for this too.
I am rearranging the elements on the layer tab. Again, it's not out of the frame, just out of the visible area. Now select the same elements again from the layer tab. Copy and paste it into the previous frame. Great, everything is done. Now let's start the prototype. Connect this hamburger icon to the next frame. Select a smart animate, make this one second. And this is to ease in and out. Connect this X to the previous frame. Everything will be the same, just make this to 800 milliseconds. Same for this X also. Now the About menu. Connect it to the next frame and vice versa. Rotate this to 45 angle to make an X. And everything is done. Now let's see. This is looking great, but let's make it a bit fancier. So what I'm going to do here is rearrange these menus like a stair cage, but with a bit more gap in between. I'll do the same for other menu items. The idea here is to come into the frame one after another with a slight delay. It will give visitors more visual interaction. Make this one second also. Everything looks okay. Let's see the output. 
As you can see, the menu items are coming inside the frame one after another and it is looking great. In one of my future videos, I will connect with one of my developer friends and will make an admin panel from design to development in a one long video. Stay tuned for that and also for more exciting upcoming projects. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.